G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and our Let's Play series back down under in Western Australia on the West Australia map by Deccan Kane. Alright, here we are, we're kicking off our, uh, our, com our cotton harvest in our case cotton module harvester. Now, at the end of our first episode, I did say that we were going to um, use three different, or three, uh, three module balers and uh, bring in the cotton harvest uh, using course play. Well, that was certainly the intent. Um, however, unfortunately, with this field, um, it's actually combined, the definitions of it are, are a little bit mixed up and it's combined with field one. So if you go to do a course play course on this field, um, it actually just does the boundaries and does field four and field one and gets a bit confused. So hopefully that's something that Deck and Kane can, uh, can improve on um, in the next iteration of the map. Um, I'm certainly going to pass that information on to him. Um, so as uh, hopefully he can have that rectified. He doesn't already know about it. But anyway, what we are going to do is we are going to run ahead of, around this field, maybe two, and then we're going to put a hired hand on this harvester or on this uh, baler and uh, let them do the rest of the work while we often do something else. But in the interim, that just means we're going to sit here and make it do it. As you can see, the build definitions are probably a little bit off. Um, telling us we don't access this land, well, we do. We've bought it all. So, um, you know, that's probably something that Deccan needs to have a bit of a look at and, and sort of tidy up a little bit possibly. But uh, once we've done the header uh, and we're inside the well inside the boundary of the field, we should be okay. Take a turn through here. As you can see, the field's gotten a bit close here. I don't know if that fence continues, so we're just going to go on the liberal side of the uh, field there. Yeah, the fence is still through there. So again, hopefully he can tidy it up a little bit uh, with the next update. Uh, we'll just see how that goes. But yeah, no, we're enjoying this map, so I certainly hope you'll enjoy it as well. Uh, as I said previously, and uh, the link is down below, it's available from the Vault uh, Modding website. Oh, pardon me, I've got a bit of a fog in the throat. But, uh, but yeah, it's only a very small map because there's not a lot of uh, added accessories in the map, so it's only basically the map itself plus a few little buildings. Um, so it's actually very quick to load, which is a, a nice a nice change. And uh, so far, like I said, it's been a joy to play on. So, uh, yeah. Now this cotton harvester is obviously the, um, the Stevie version. We have got the higher capacity option on this one. It actually does run a little bit quicker as well, um, which is what I made sure we had for this map, noting the fact it's a four times map, so everything's going to be that much bigger and take that much longer. But uh, even so, with something that runs almost, or just a little bit shy of twice the speed of the default, um, it's still going to take quite some time to get this done. As you can see, we're not even halfway around the field yet. Probably coming close up to a, a third, maybe a little bit past a third. Um, so we've got to go all the way around through here. Then we're going to turn up to the north. And then we've got the south leg back to where we started. So we're probably just about halfway now, I guess, actually. Um, that's gotten uh, so 7,500 litres of cotton. So um, yeah, we, should, we should get a good amount of cotton from this field. And, uh, what we're going to do is one of the bigger fields. We are, are actually planning on doing one of the big fields with cotton so we can actually do a mega cotton harvest, but um, that'll all depend on the field definition and whether we can actually get a course laid in under course play. But uh, that will come in the future, no doubt. No doubt. 
Anyway, I hope everyone is doing really well out there. Um, we have been a bit busy. We we were very slack there for a while. We just couldn't get back into uh, getting any of the videos out, and um, we had some stuff that was affecting us in real life and, and all that sort of stuff. And uh, but uh, we've we've gotten back in. We've got a few mod reviews out. And uh, obviously we're getting stuck into this now, and uh, and we'll be good to go. The other thing, the other thing was too, I've, I've sort of lost, as as many others have, have, lost their mojo a little bit with um, with 19. Uh, I'm not going to head, in, head into a, a rant like I, I've done recently in some of the live streams, um, but certainly 19 is just not the same, um, especially on the default maps from Giants, and and I would also say from a lot of the early conversion maps and stuff that's been brought out um, they're just not they don't bring you in um, now I, I have had the luxury of being a tester for a Nathan's uh, from Nathan from Nathan 6930 photography um, he's he's done his Meadow Grove farm again for farming simulator 19 and I've been lucky enough to be a tester on that and that is a lovely map it's a small map but it's a lovely map and that will be uh, welcomed once it is released and I can say that as of today uh, being, oh, what day does it say? I can't remember, um, early Feb. <laughs> anyway, um, it's 100% it's complete and very soon it will be actually be sent to Giants for approval from the Mod Hub. So um, hopefully very soon you'll all have that uh, in your sweaty little hands and you'll be able to go and play that wonderful map. Um, I am planning on doing a couple of videos on that, if not a Let's Play series, um, and do a little bit of playing on it, just to sort of showcase it a bit more for Nathan. Um, but he's done a wonderful job with that, so so well done. Uh, also of note, uh, Oxygen David uh, from Frontier Designs has recently released his Marble Manor Farm. That was a bit of a surprise with the last main drop of mods from Giants. Um, so, uh, so that's been released, and that's a lovely, lovely map as well. Um, he is currently taking notes on on some of the stuff he's going to do for the first update, but uh, it is out there. It's on the mod hub, and it's playable, and it's uh, it's a lovely map as well. So, certainly hoping if I won't, probably won't get a let's play done on that one, but we'll certainly do a um, a play video, I guess, um, just to sort of showcase some of the uh, the stuff on the farm. Um, or it might just be a sporadic let's play so every now and again we'll go go back to it and get a play but uh, at the moment I do have a solo play on it uh, and I am enjoying that so that's another another good farm for you to, to go and explore uh, what else is there uh, I, and of course the big one that I've been playing on mostly is uh, Stevie's wonderful map Fenton Forest Farm uh, that is a magnificent map it is a remake of uh, Giants um, Ravenport what was that right was it Ravenport or, anyway I can't remember off the top of my head but anyway uh, it's a remake and I tell you his, his remake has put Giants to shame it's got fantastic lighting it's got it's so immersive it's not funny and and I uh, switched that over onto our multiplayer server the Ducks All the Gaming multiplayer server and uh, myself and, and JJ and, and, and Elroy, all, all subscribers and, and members of my Discord channel and all that sort of stuff, we've been having a blast um, playing on it. So uh, and, and Liz, another, another re fairly recent member to the channel, um, she's uh, came in and joined us yesterday, so it's, it's lovely. So uh, a fantastic map. It is uh, in the virtually the final release, uh, is in an open beta release. The next update for that will come when the 1.3 patch drops, or very soon thereafter, because uh, Stevie is waiting for Giants to fix a couple of uh, issues that are causing errors in that on the map, and it's not just his map, it's just in general, and once they've done that, then um, he'll be releasing that, and that'll be good to go. So, uh, But if you want to go check it out, go check Stevie's Facebook page, Steve at Stevie's FS Mods on Facebook. And uh, you won't be disappointed. Trust me, it is a is a wonderful map, and we have got a let's play series coming on that, plus a couple of other videos, a couple of little surprises um, in the coming days slash weeks. But uh, if you haven't already gathered, I'm a big fan of Stevie's work. Uh, Stevie uh, 
has put out a huge amount of mods, kept me very busy doing mod reviews. Uh, now, a few people have said to me, well, why do you like Stevie's mods so much? Um, because all he does is gives you the colour option and, and tweaks the, the mods a bit. Well, you know what? It's more than what I would do. And, and I'm appreciative of the fact that he gives the flexibility to you have that option available to you. If, if like, say for instance, this harvester, you have the option to play it as the default vehicle, um, which is fine. You then have the option to play it as the default vehicle with its specifications, but just change the colors. So like uh, I've got for my Farming Simulator 19 color scheme, is preferred to have the garlic and black, which is what you see here. Um, and whether or not I actually use the faster speed or whether we use the extra capacity is something that will be determined by the map or what we're actually doing. Um, but having that flexibility is fantastic. And it's and again, it's something that I don't have to go do. So I'm very appreciative of the fact that he does that. And there's a lot of others that are appreciative of it as well. Now, I think I did a rough count the other day and I think at the moment he's just over 100 components um, he's he's altered, or just no, it was just under 100, I think it was. He's altered for um, farming simulator 19 so far. So uh, in any in any way, shape, or form, that, that's a wonderful uh, contribution to, to the game that we all we all enjoy. Um, well, the series that we all enjoy. We don't all necessarily enjoy farming simulator 19, or certain certain levels of degree anyway. So uh, so yeah. That's the prime reason why I like Stevie's mods, and, and he's an approachable bloke. I've um, got a lot of time for him. His maps in Farming Simulator 17 were, were amongst my favourite. Um, and uh, like Sherwood Park Farm and Pine Cove and um, Beaver Creek, I mean, they gave me, out of my 3,500 odd hours, or it was actually close to 3,600 hours in 17, um, the vast majority of my played hours were on a Stevie map. And, and more often than not with a Stevie mod. So, um, I don't know, that, that's why I'm a, I'm a strong supporter of Stevie and it's why I promote his, his equipment and all that sort of stuff. Plus the other thing is, I know I can trust his mods. He posts them on his Facebook page. Um, I know they're gonna be error free. I know they're gonna be malware free, um, which means that I can be confident and safe in recommending to you guys to go and download his mods from his Facebook page or where we had them, I think we had them on FSU, it wasn't FSUK, it was PCSG, I think. Um, at, at least I know that they're safe. Um, whereas unfortunately, I, I can't say the same for places like modhub.us or even modhoster, um, FS19 mods, all those sort of sites. They're, they're not what I would say are safe sites. So um, that's the reason why. Anyway. So, we're going to continue on where this is the, the second pass of our headers and then we're going to set this guy up and just see if he can uh, finish off the rest of the field on his own. And then we're going to head on back to the farm and uh, we'll see what else we can get started. We'll probably actually start harvesting one of our other fields. While well, we're talking about Stevie's mods and multiplayer servers and all that sort of stuff, um, I will put a bit of a plug in. Uh, we we do have a Patreon, so if you uh, would like to support the channel, then please consider doing so. Um, it obviously helps to pay for things like internet and these DLCs and all that sort of stuff. All the all the basic costs that come involved with uh, with doing this sort of stuff, like uh, paying for any software upgrades or um, internet use, all that sort of stuff. Um, now, 90% of everything I make gets put back into the channel. So for instance, we gave away some copies of Farming Simulator 19 for the launch um, and, and different things like that. And it also obviously helps to pay for the multiplayer server. Anyone that is a patron of the channel is automatically eligible to come and join us on the multiplayer server. And uh, and we do have a good time on there. Uh, just have to be aware that uh, it is rained by an Australian and Kiwi sense of humour, so um, they don't expect it to be too serious. But 
but, uh, but yeah, so please consider doing that. And the details for Patreon are down below. Uh, if you don't wish to be a patron, that's fine. We, we, there's no expectation on, on doing that at all. Um, but uh, it's certainly one way to, to get part of the multiplayer aspect of Duck Story Gaming. Apart from that, if you don't want to do that, you just want to come and hang out and have a chat and all that sort of stuff. And, and I've got a, I'm, I'm very lucky. I've got a great bunch of guys that are uh, and girls. I uh, forget that that are uh, on our Discord. So uh, please consider coming over and joining our Discord channel. Again, the details are down below in the comments. Um, so please uh, head on over and come and join us on Discord. We'd love to have you there. All right. Now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to take this little bit off here. Straighten that up a little bit. And then we'll set him off and see if he does his first couple of turns okay. I'm just worried about this fence down here. Turn around here. Line him up near enough, good enough for government work, and send him on his way. All right, so we'll just watch him do a run or two, just to make sure he's going to do his turns okay. He's probably not going to continue all the way through here because of the, uh, the corner, but that's okay. We can uh, come back and fix it up later. There he goes. He's all right. He's going to finish that off. All right. Um, also, don't forget to go over and check out uh, Simulation Gaming Society. Um, it's a wonderful group of people over there, uh, founded by myself and Grizzly Bear Sims and Eustace Farmer. And please also make sure you go and check out Grizzly Bear Sims and Eustace Farmer's YouTube channel. Um, you won't find any better content in relation to Let's Plays and uh, role playing in the farming simulator genre for sure. So go check them out. Uh, and, and overall, they're just great guys as well. So, uh, so go give them a bit of support and tell them Duck sent you. Uh, also, don't forget to go and check out uh, another good friend of the channel, Frithgar. Um, he's a, I would say, a very popular YouTuber who's uh, become a friend of the channel. And um, he's getting close to his 100,000 subscribers, actually. So, uh, so head on over and, and subscribe and see if we can kick him on to the 100,000. Um, it's a it's a huge achievement to get uh, anywhere near that. So um, right, congratulations to him, and hopefully he'll get the hundred thousand very very soon. So go check that out. Um, so that's Frithgar F R I T H G A R, and uh, if you see him in our Discord channel, don't don't feel frightened to say good day. He's a he's a lovely chap. So uh, say good day. All right, so we're going to watch this guy see if he does a turn. All right. Uh, so far so good. All right, we've just got to make sure he does the same down the other end of the fence and doesn't try to go through the fence, and we'll be okay. The trepidation of a new map, uh, you're not sure exactly how things like course play are going to go. It's the same with Farming Simulator 17. All sort of, all manner of things could go wrong, and uh, you just sort of sit there and cross your fingers and hope for the best. But uh, hopefully this guy will go off and finish this field on his own all right, and... Uh, we can head off and do a bit of multitasking and get something else done. Oh, pardon me. All right. So again, what we're going to try and do with this series, we're going to try and keep it about 25, 20 to 25 minutes in, in length. Um, just because I don't want to bore you. Uh, you probably find that already, but uh, yeah, we'll certainly try and do that. This one will probably be about 25 minutes because we're going to go head over and get one of the combines out and set that up. Um, but uh, generally we'll try and keep it to 20, 25 minutes. So, um, yeah. But anyway, let me know what you think about the map so far. Um, should be doing a little bit of uh, vocal work, shouldn't we? There we go. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Pairing along. Um, yeah, so, so leave, a, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what your favourite map is so far for 19 as well or what you're looking forward to most on 19. Um, 
I'm pretty much spoiled at the moment. I think I've got all, most of the stuff I uh, would have wanted quite early. Um, an Australian map, which was a, a very welcome surprise, not counting the Australian Outback one, that wasn't... It's okay, but it's not as, not as good as it should have been. Um, Marble Manor Farm, Fenton Forest, Meadow, Meadow Grove. So, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy at the moment with the status of what farms we've got. Um, that was one of the things I was going to say too. The only thing that sort of really kept me going at the moment is uh, is the multiplayer on Fenton Forest. I where I've sort of not had the interest to do um, let's plays and all that up to this point in time. Um, doing the multiplayer uh, with the guys on uh, on Fenton Forest was what was keeping me interested in farming some under nineteen. So, um, so yeah. But anyway, if like I said, if you want to come over there um, and you want to join us, then uh, certainly if Patreons, uh, like I said, they're given a uh, access straight into the multiplayer server, and uh, other than that, it's a VIP access only. So um, I'll determine those that get access and when they get access. So, um, but I mean, who knows? If you come and be part of the uh, the Ducks All the Gaming community on Discord, you may well find yourself getting an invite to the server sooner rather than later as well. So uh, those that contribute and, and have a bit of a chat and sort of help around the place, well, they, uh, they're more likely to get uh, those sort of uh, invites and perks. All right, I'm pretty confident he's going to continue on all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, we're going to run down to the truck. We're going to take the flatbed back to the farm and uh, we'll get one of the combines out and we'll go work out what field we're going to do next. So we'll jump in the Kenworth here and we'll just reverse up I'm going to find reverse we'll reverse up and uh, connect the trailer there we go hold him alright now we'll just turn reverse in there Give it a turn Nice looking truck this one. Don't mind this one at all. Very uh, reminiscent of stuff we see in Australia. Or have seen in Australia. They're, they're sort of not quite as common anymore, but they certainly were. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so get the uh, the big Kenworth out next time when we've got to do some offloading. And uh, you can see that one, the, the D610 uh, from Torque Modding. Get those out and start using those as well. There's the power lines we looked at the last episode, or the intro episode, basically. Oh, all over the road. We might also plant some trees along the entrance here, just to sort of give it a bit more of a uh, homely feel. Uh, a lot of the farms actually do that, sort of this in the Australian area. They'll, they'll have a very uh, green and well-looked-after entrance in some places. Um, although generally where this is sort of located probably not so much but uh, just because they're located in rural areas doesn't mean they have a bit of pride in how the uh, the first uh, representation of their farm looks so um, we might just do that do a little bit of prettying up so to speak all right so we're just going to park the k100 here because we're going to have to go click that uh, that harvester at some point and we're going to run over here, we'll grab uh, one of the combines, we'll grab a header, in fact what we'll do is we'll work out what crop we're going to go to first, what field. Uh, fields ready to harvest is field 12. As you can see field 4, he's going to have a long time on that field. So field 12 is barley. So I think we might have to go and uh, do field 12 because that's the only other one that's uh, ready to go. So that's indeed what we're going to do. Um, we will set up a, we'll try and set up a course play course on that field and see how that goes. Uh, and I'll s initially set it for two combines and see if, uh, see if it actually errors out or not. In fact, no, I won't. I'll just do it for one. And if it errors out, well, that'll be the end of the episode. If it doesn't error out, then we'll on uh, and I'll set up a truck to uh, 
come out and we'll, uh, we'll manually unload for a tractor and uh, tractor and overloader and um, what am I saying? Tractor, overloader, and then a truck as well. Empty into. All right. I don't know who parked them there, but anyway, probably me. Okay. Hope we can get this out without uh, getting caught up. Very close that back end. Yeah, we're right. All right. And off we go. So this uh, this header trailer, as I said in the mod review, this Extremo um, header trailer, it uh, you do have to swing out wide. It's got a very poor turning circle, so you just need to be aware of that. Now we have to find the entrance point where we can get into this field uh, and provide enough room for us to put our header on. I think it's the field that's basically directed. Is it anyway? No, it's not. It's down the road a bit, I think. Have a look on the, uh, the map. Pull that up. Yeah, that's the one directly. Field 12. Yeah, it's directly opposite. So, uh, alright, what we're going to do is we're going to cross over and take the header trailer off here and we'll put the header on all right hopefully I've pulled in off the road I have As you can see, we do have crop destruction on, so we've got to be careful we don't uh, wreck too much of our crop. Although then again, with the size of these crops, it uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Crop. All right. Now, this is going to have the power poles in it, so we are going to hope that when we uh, right work mode, uh, when we actually set up our course, hopefully. Um, it will actually get rid of, get past the uh, the islands quite well. So we're going to do two headland passes. Uh, we're going to go in a clockwise direction. Um, smooth, that's fine. Up, down. Working width is fine. Skip road. Bypass islands, we want to do simple. And we're going to generate the course. Let's hope that works. Sometimes it just will lock up and it won't go any further. It looks like it might have done. No, there we go. It does take a bit of time. But that's You've got to give it that little bit of time because it, it does have a lot of calculations to do, but it looks like it might be okay. And it's uh, detected the, the islands. Uh, however, yeah, power pole, power pole. It might have missed one, possibly. So we'll have to just uh, see how that goes. Get back out of there. Now, uh, that's going to be a bit of a tight corner for him, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that up ourselves. We're going to activate stop during loading, unloading. Uh, nearest waypoint is what we're going to have here. We're going to unfold the combine. So, yeah, start the combine up, and we're just going to take this first bit of a turn through here without taking out the road signs, and then we're going to set him going here. Hopefully, continue on without any too well too many dramas, and there he goes. And off he goes. You can see the field definition isn't quite like straight through here, so it's actually doing a bit of weaving. Uh, what we are going to do is I'm going to save this course so I can use this for doing the baling. So I'm going to have the whole pile of bales off here as well. Um, so this was field, what we say it was? Field 12. So uh, for the way I do this, I do field 12 
harvest on combine. Pregnant pause. Right. So now what will happen is when I come back to do the baling, I can actually set the bale up to that course and it'll actually orientate itself with the middle of the, the course of the combine is doing. So basically where the combine is centered, uh, it, the tractor and the baler will center as well. So it'll pick up that, uh, that swath without any problem at all. Uh, and that's one of the advantages of doing this. The other way of doing it, of course, is uh, like we did in FS17, if you had follow me, uh, you could actually just put the, the baler after the combine and have it on follow me. Um, which is what you do and the other thing you can also do is you can set up a route to have the truck or the tractor and overlader to come and automatically unload the combine which we're not going to do for this field well not right now um, because it's basically time to sign off we will have a look at that in the second episode so um you just go to our map our uh, our hired hand up here is working okay he's uh, still got the cotton harvester running so that's good to see and uh, we've got the class combine down here powering away on this field so that will be it for this episode we'll leave that with you and we'll uh, we'll come back here to our farm on in western australia uh, sometime very very soon thanks so much for watching don't forget to press that like button and if you so wish to flush the toilet press the dislike button um, and uh, if you do press the dislike button i'm going to ask again just let me know why you disliked it. Is it because of the map? Is it because of me? I won't be offended by it. Just let me know. Uh, that way I can try and make things better or improve it or whatever else. Um, and yeah, so uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to the channel as well, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, please make sure you press that notification icon, which will make sure that you are alerted when there are new videos posted to the channel or live streams coming up or when I am actually live in a live stream. All right, thanks very much for watching. This is Ducksaw Ducksaw Gaming wishing you a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, no matter where you are in the world. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And to all those guys that are actually in America that are going through those horrible winter storms at the moment, keep safe. We're thinking about you. Uh, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Ducksaw Gaming. See you all later. Bye.